Bam, let's go. Rye Quest. That's right, it's still January Rye month here on Bourbon Quest, or Rye Quest in this case. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're coming up on the, towards the end of January, so uh, thought I'd bring you another Rye episode tonight. So we're uh, featuring Knob Creek Rye. So I've got three different expressions of the Knob Creek Rye. Uh, this first one is going to be a uh, single barrel uh, store pick from Total Wine, uh, 115 proof. So, uh, gee whiz. <coughs> so these all have been opened before. So a little Knob Creek single barrel store pick. And then the next is your normal uh, Knob Creek rye uh, hunter proof uh, you know typical shelf bottle so we got 115 proof 100 proof and then last but not least let's put these in order then by proof let's do uh, 100 then 115 and then this I haven't seen a whole lot of these out I don't know let me know if they're still doing these. So, this is a Knob Creek Cash Strength Rye Whiskey. Uh, it says barreled in 2009, and then it's a 2018 release. So, it's nine year old rye, 119.6 proof. So, let me know do they still do these Cash Strength Ryes? Like, I picked this up early on in my bourbon slash rye quest and then and i hadn't seen one in a while i guess it's been a few well it's probably like six months or so now i was in like a little low level uh local store and saw that they had one and since i hadn't seen them didn't know if they were even still making them anymore so let me know if you, they still do the knob creek caster so i picked up another one i want to see if it's different let me grab it real quick Yeah, this is the one I picked up. Uh, oh, it says here. Okay, so this one. Ooh, shit. So the, the one I got open is limited release, barreled in 2009, 2018 on it. And then the other one that I picked up that's not open. Uh, it says limited release batch two, so I'm sick. I'm guessing that the first one I got was batch one. This is batch two, so I don't know if there's a batch three or not. The batch two is coming in. Oh shit! I can't wait to open that one. It's a 127 proof, and it does say here on the little tag, cast strength rye whiskey experience. The highly anticipated second release from the makers of Knob Creek cast strength will rye winner of the 2018 San Francisco World Series. San Francisco Best Rye Award. Huh. So I guess I answered my own question that they've done at least two batches, so I don't know if they're still doing these. Is there, is there a batch three or four? Let me know, Rye Quest. All right, well, that's exciting. So, oh, we gotta make a pour on that one and then try these. It's been a while since I've had any of these, so. I honestly don't remember a whole lot other than I thought the cash strength was really, really good, but all right. Yeah, that one's 119.6 and that other one's 127. Hell yeah. All right, we'll start with the uh, on the shelf Knob Creek Rye. Mm. I mean, definitely get mint, baking spice, black peppers and vanilla some nuttiness cheers rye quest yeah you definitely get that rye mint black pepper baking spice some vanilla on the middle and back To me, it's not bad, it's not great. It's 
average average rye. I don't know if I'd pick this one up again. We'll compare it to the other two and see that. Yeah. Remember, stay hydrated, my friends. Uh, all right, let's go to this uh, single barrel store pick. I like the nose better on this. Obviously, it's a higher proof. More of those baking spices come through. Um, less mint on the nose. All right. Cheers, Ryquist. Mm. I definitely like that better than the uh, first one. Just more like some more dark chocolate on that. More uh, baking spice. Obviously deeper hug. Better mouthfeel. Less on the mint. Don't really get a, hardly any pine on that, but all right, let's stay hydrated and then go to the cast strength. All right. Cheers, Rackwest. Mm. Noses are very similar. I would just say this cast strength one seems to be a little bit richer, darker on the nose more robust all right cheers right all mm. man that's really good it's like not only do you get that baking spice but i get some some maple and some honey along with that baking spice and mint that's pretty damn good So is this store pick though. Mm, yeah, the nose is better on this one. Alright, let's go back the other way. Mm. Those are both really good. Uh, wow. I might have to run it back one more time. I think the cast strength between those two is probably the better, but I wouldn't sleep on a store pick there. Uh, yeah, let me know. Like, I think have you had a Knob Creek store pick? Um, I think do they all run at 115 proof? Um, also, let me know if you've had the cast strength, and let me know. I would say you can go ahead and sleep on this shelfer. Uh, I think there's much better rise at right around the same price point that are on the shelf rise that you can find that are better than the Knob Creek. But um, I would say do not sleep on a store pick, single barrel, or definitely the cast strength. If, the, if those are even still out there and available, let me know. But, whew. yeah, it's still good, but not compared. This cash is a bomb. Mmm, yeah, more of that dark chocolate and maple, and like, uh, like some peanut butter brittle as well. Yeah, I definitely get some peanut butter brittle on that cast rim. That's a, that's a definite buy. I would say probably a buy on a store pick. A lot of times on a store pick like that, they, they'll let you, they'll have one because they got like 200 and something bottles usually. So they usually have one available for samples if you want to try the store pick before you buy it. 
obviously being a single barrel and a store pick, those are going to vary from barrel to barrel, store to store. Uh, and then let me know what the, what's the deal on this cast strength. Like I said, I look, apparently I have batch one and batch two. I don't know if there's been any others released since those, but man, that, that I can't wait to open the batch two one. Not going to do it right now, but well, well no, I'm not going to do it right now. I'll probably wait. Should I wait till I finish batch one? I'll probably wait till I get towards the end of batch one, which that might be a lot because, as you know, I'm a huge bourbon drinker, not a big rye drinker, except for during the month of January rye month. Um, outside of January, I don't drink a, a whole lot of rye. Uh, but who knows? All right, I got to wrap it up. Let me know what you think about the Knob Creek Rye. Uh, give me, if you haven't already, give me a subscribe. Uh, we need to ramp up those subscriptions. Doesn't cost you anything, does the channel a favor. And then do yourself a favor, ring that bell for notifications. That way you don't miss a damn thing here on Bourbon Quest. Smash that like button. Let me know you appreciate the content I put out to you. If you and then leave a comment if you've got any suggestions, ideas for upcoming, upcoming episodes or reviews or whatever uh, yeah and then well I'll turn 50 in February and then right after my birthday which is on the 11th well within the week or two after my birthday we will start up uh, mass madness we will have uh, 64 bottles that will be competing in a uh, basketball tournament style bracket to figure out Who's the winner of Mash Madness? It's always fun. Well, I'm looking forward to it. It's a lot of work, though. But I got to go. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for leaving a comment. Until next time, remember that my wish for you is that all your bourbon quest and ride quest dreams come true. That's a wrap, y'all. Woo, Lord. Oh. Lord, Lord. Uh.